Hindi lamang sa pagsayaw magaling si Kix Minjola na miyembro ng Hip Hop Dance Group na Philippine All Stars kundi bumida rin ang galing niya matapos makaimbento ng one-seater electric manned aerial vehicle o IMAB. Siya rin ang kauna-unang inventor ng flying car sa Pilipinas. Wala siyang background sa engineering pero nakalika si Kix ng isang aerial drone na maaring masakyan ng tao at kayang maglulan ng hanggang 400 kilograms na bigat. when they bought the the my my you know, my concept so, so i had to build one one working prototype to show them that i'm really capable okay. and then from there now it's fully funded by star a you uh, we're almost ready for mass production yeah ito po ano na to uh, almost product look na to kasi ito po yung prototype this is only aluminum eto carbon fiber na po lahat. Ay, carbon fiber na. Pero, pupunta ka bang titanium? Medyo mahal na po ito. Pupunta ka bang titanium? Uh, bolts po. Titanium kami sa bolts. Ito? Bolts ito? Uh, yes, some parts. Yung mga critical. Ano? Tapos, this is all foldable. Huh? Yeah, it folds in here. Two sides. So, ganun. Para pwede siyang compact siya. You can fit Pasok it in garage. a garage. It's it's basically a personal electric ano aircraft, and it's a vertical takeoff aircraft. So you don't need a runway. Ano siya? Convenient siya. Yeah, for the ball, yeah. Anong tal? It's the future of uh, aircrafts, talaga. Okay. Kasi it's electric, so there's no maintenance. Oh. oh. So you just charge the... and fly, charge and fly. Really? That's about it. Kasi yung mga helicopter, let's say you buy it for about 20 million. Oh gagastos ka sa maintenance nun. Oh. Kasi may hours lang yung takbo ng makina nun and then halos ino overall yun. Correct. Eh. Ito, wala ako. Why is this maintenance free? Because it's all just magnets eh. It's, it's, it's walang, brushless motor. Walang bakal to bakal. Wala po yan. So, magnets wow. and bearings lang yan. Nice. Wow. Probably after hami, siguro mga 3,000 hours of flight, papalitan mo lang yung two pieces of bearings sa loob. Sa loob just lang? Just two small pieces. That's about it. Uh -huh. Nasa magkano yan sa pag uh, in market nyo? Ito, I think this is gonna go for about siguro mga 8 million a piece. Hmm. For, we're also building a 2-seater and a 4-seater. Yun na yung mga 2 and 4, parang magiging air taxi na siya. So, anong tawag nyo dito sa ano to? Invention nyo? Uh, Star 8 named this uh, as EMAV, Electric Manned Aerial Vehicle. Hmm. But uh, in In aircraft terms, this is basically a e-VTOL, electric vertical takeoff landing na aircraft. So it, it's like a helicopter, but the features and the safety is so much better. Kasi it's running on multiple multiple motors. Sa helicopter, one failure of a part is already catastrophic or you have to do an emergency landing. This can lose four motors. What? It can still land safely. This can it has multiple batteries. It has multiple computer sensors. So it's I'm not saying it's 100%, but it's close to to one of the best safest aircraft. Wow. That's why so many countries are developing this right now. You have Japan, Germany. They're all putting in billions and billions to create this technology. I mean to pursue this technology. Kasi sobrang ang ganda ng safety features niya. Plus, of course, it's economic, uh, eco-friendly pa. Dahil it's electric. So if your charging point, let's say this whole area is a solar panel, so you're basically flying for free. You charge this electric, electric siya, so saksak mo sa solar. So you're basically doing a free.
walong taon at milyon milyong piso ang ginugol ni Kix bago nabuo ang imag na kayang tumagal sa ere sa taas na 100 hanggang 400 feet lang hanggang 15 minutes. May 20 motors ang lika ni Kix na kahit makompromiso ang isa o dalawang motors nito ay ligtas pa rin itong makalilipad. Um, I think one of the biggest game changer sa technology na to. That's why so many companies or so many countries are developing this. Is yung feature niya na redundant siya. Meaning because it runs on multiple uh, motors and propellers, hindi siya nagre-rely sa isang powertrain na kapag nag-fail, delikado ka agad. So, ours run on the one seater runs on 20 motors. The two seater runs on 28 motors. So meaning we can lose one or two motors which already rarely happens. So far, we've been doing the R&D for two years. Never pa kaming na nasiraan ng motor because the technology is already good when it comes to the brushless motors. So and even with that, kapag nawalan ka pa nga ng one or two, you can still land safely. The two seater I think is capable of ano losing about three motors without the flight being affected and isa pa is the whole technology runs on electric so natanggal mo yung very expensive na na ano maintenance ng mga combustion engine kasi sa helicopter isa sa pinakamahal doon is not just buying it eh, it's maintaining it so nawala yun sa factor ng ano ng IMAB or ng mga electric dito dahil basically it's a charge and fly system the maintenance is very very small you just have to always look after the batteries and the batteries are always improving every year so soon it will get to the point na it will compete with combustion engines When it comes to target market, um, yung one-seater natin, technically the one-seater is really a, parang a baseline namin eh. Kasi the main target is four-seater. Kasi when it comes to four-seater, pwede mo na siyang gamitin as an air taxi. Actually, four and two-seater can serve as a short-distance public transportation na. And this will help ano, decongest the traffic in especially mga urban areas na even a uh, 10 minutes drive becomes an hour or two hours because of traffic if you use this you can basically get there in probably less than five minutes so yun yung pinakamalaking tulong niya yung one seater for now it will serve as a sport flyer dun sa mga dumilipad ng mga maliliit na aircraft pwedeng gawing hobby, pwedeng gawing sport pwedeng gawing recreational let's say you have your own uh, land that you wanna survey meron kang farm or let's say you have a resort and you wanna have your own personal aircraft na you can fly around your resort or in the beach without needing ano, the complication of ano, yung complicated stuff that you need to fly a regular aircraft kasi this is almost flying on its own it has an autopilot very smart autopilot that basically will fly the aircraft for you you just have to tell it where to go you're not really flying it eh. it's flying itself so ikaw nagaguide ka na lang kung saan siya pupunta yun yung isang magandang feature sa kanya that's why it gives a chance for everyone to have their own personal aircraft hindi katulad ng let's say helicopter or airplane as reliable as they are they are very very complicated to fly so bang hirap sila aabutin ka ng taon bago mo ma-master this one probably less than a week i would say na malilipad mo na siya kung kung gugustuhin mo na mag-isa and that's unheard of when it comes to aircraft sa ngayon ay naka-develop si Kix ng two-seater para sa dalawang pasero. Ito ay may 28 motors at hanggang 550 kilograms na bigat. Ikalawang version ito ng IMAB 
sa tulong ng Star 8 Green Corporation, isang Australian green technology company na gumagawa ng mga electric cars. This is the electric manned aerial vehicle being developed um, under Star 8. It's a electric personal aircraft. It's a e-VTOL, meaning it can take off um, like a helicopter and fly like a helicopter, but it's pure electric. So we're, we have developed a one-seater, and now we're also developing a two- and four-seater. So I specialize in building drones that carry big cameras. This is for the film industry. And that's when I started building this project, thinking that baka makagawa ko ng something that can carry me. Out of curiosity, it started as a personal project. And then as the project uh, continues, I saw the potential uh, as a business. So, gumawa ko ng isang prototype and that's when I met Star 8 and sila na yung nag-fund ng, ng development ng EMAG. Um, Star 8 is playing a very big role in the development of EMAG. Kasi the R&D for this type of aircraft, in any aircraft, is very expensive. Especially yung ganito na sobrang bago. So, madami pang kailangan i-figure out, madaming kailangan i-develop, and that takes a lot of resources. Um, they were able to get this place for EMAG, so let's show it. Para, ito yung nagsiserve as test field namin. We fly the EMAG here, and that alone is already a big help because it's very hard to find a space to test. And this is just beside the factory, which is just on the other side. So we can basically fly here every day and that's all provided by Star 8. Tapos when it comes to expenses on the R&D, the materials, materials are very expensive kasi we use carbon fiber. So these are all from different countries, yung mga motors, yung mga batteries, mga mamahalin lahat siya. And they are the one paying for the development and the research, everything. And also the manpower, especially the manpower. So, I don't think the project will be this big without Star 8. So, sila talaga yung, ano, yung reason kaya lumaki yung project. Matatandaang noong September 23, 2018, unang ipinakita ni Kix Minjola sa publiko ang matagumpay na paglipad ng kanyang likha. Mula rito sa Bayan ng Murong, Bataan, Nolan Ariola nag-uulat, Para sa Leader News Philippines.